Hi to everyone, your Pyral here with another episode of Amori. Last episode, we were in a strange library of sorts reading a bunch of books that may or may not have been memories about what was going on. Also, that room that I missed out on, apparently all that I missed was a piano that you could investigate and a save spot that, that you could heal. And apparently, like, the piano has the words Omori etched into it. I, I looked this up because I was really curious once I ended off last episode, but, um... We're back here in the faraway area. We need to... <laughs> Kel smells. What the heck? What happened here? Dang it, it must have been Aubrey and the Scooter Gang. Sonny, be honest. Do I smell? Um, I don't know. You have a dog. Oh, I wanted to hang out with the dog. Oh, there's also a basketball hoop. Was there? Yeah. I don't remember that being there before, but... Oh, well. Let's just make our way through. I do have some trash to recycle. Oh, there's basil. Hold up. Uh, yeah, I can still recycle my trash, which is good. Before I see Basil, though. Okay, then. Uh, can I help you, sir? Hey, pal, it's good to see you. These new recycletist folk that have been showing up are making a real big change around here. This is the first I've seen so many people taking the initiative to pick up trash. Well, something about them feels a little fishy. They do have the word cult in their name. What's this? Yo-yo? Okay. Oh, hello. You just vanished. That's not good. Don't vanish in front of me, people. Uh, I don't have any nickels. I'm broke. Yeah, I'm- I'm broke. Hello, can I help you? Yeah, Recycultus. Okay then, do your thing. I'm just gonna continue to pick up trash. People watching out here helps me put things into perspective. I might make it a habit to come to this park more often. I guess sometimes all it takes to relax is to stop and smell the roses. Well, sure. Uh, five dollars. Uh, there's... Yeah, I'm gonna find as much trash as I possibly can. Because money is good. There's also a picnic basket there to save. Um, please do not cough around me. I may not have any money, but at least sunlight is free. That is true. So anyways, lads, can you spare me some change from this hard time? Sure, let's give you a dollar. You've currently donated one dollar to Hobo. Okay, sure. I don't know how a hobo would be able to pay me back, but why not? Let's also donate money to this hobo. There you go. We only have $3 to our name, but that's fine. Now, Basil, that's who I want to talk to. But also, there's a few fellas here. Apple juice, an apple day keeps the doctor away. Apple juice supports hydration. Apple juice is pretty good. There are no downsides as far as I'm concerned. Two dollars for apple juice? Nah. Okay, that's fine. As long as you're not buying any orange juice. I mean, there's nothing wrong with either. Wait, what? That's a nice view. Are you looking at this guy? <laughs> you might be. There's pies here. Hey, neighbor. How's it going? Blue-haired girl. Hey, Kel. Oh, and who else is with you? Oh, wait, I recognize you. It's Sunny, isn't it? Sorry, it's been a while. I think we only met a few times. My family has always lived here, but I was sent off to boarding school for a few years and just came back about three years ago, I think. Hey, Sunny. Chris is my next-door neighbor, and she's really cool. She's the fastest swimmer in school. When she's in the water, people compare her to a mermaid, or a shark, or even a torpedo. 
I don't care. You ne you're never short of on compliments. Are you trying out for the junior varsity basketball team this year? I'm sure you'll be a shoe in <laughs> Well, I'll try. I've been playing every month and then with every now and then with strangers at the park. I think I'm getting better, but it's a little hard to tell. Heh. <laughs> but if I practice basketball as much as you practice swimming, I'd probably have a better chance. Oh, I'm not that hardworking. Feels like fun to me, honestly. And besides, even though I love swimming in pools, I love swimming in the ocean even more. I love everything about the ocean. The beach, the sound of the waves, even the smell of seaweed. You know, I, I can relate. I do... Living near the ocean has been nice. I, I appreciate living near the ocean and hearing things like that. Like, just driving around and getting close to the water. Haven't been to the beach in a while, but still, it's nice every now and then. See, it's good to be passionate about something, isn't it? Heh, I, I guess. Actually, I think this all started because I went to boarding school on an island and really enjoyed my time there. The ocean reminds me of the friends I made there. I hope maybe I can see them again one day. But, for the time being, I guess I'll just be collecting- Oh, I have some seashells. You know, that sort of kind of reminded me of this, but Sunny is actually moving away from here really soon. Maybe you can give him some tips on how to handle moving away to a new place. Oh, Sunny is moving? Hmm. Well, being away from my friends was pretty tough at first, but change is just a fact of life. It's the memories we make with them that we should cherish. You know what? I just decided something. If you see any seashells, can you bring them to me? They're kind of hard to find around here, but I'll make sure it's worth it. Okay. Oh, well, I do have a few... All-American guy. Making patties is hard work, but once I sink my teeth into that tender ju- uh, Not really a burger person. But, oh well. Oh shoot, thanks, hon. That was close. If you enjoy burgers, it's fine. So, we do have some seashells here. Just one, but still. And we do have trash to give. So here you go. Wow, it's such a cute one. Thank you. You're welcome. Little girl's fiddling with something in her hands. Hey, no peeking. Um. Okay. Don't know what that was about, but we do have some more trash to donate. So there you go. Now all that's left here is Basil. How you doing, buddy? Hey, Kel. Hey, Sonny. What's up, Basil? Nice to see you out and about. Are you feeling better after yesterday? Huh? Uh, yesterday? W what do you mean? You had a big stomach ache, didn't you? That's why you had to go to the bathroom. Uh, oh, right. Yes, I feel much better now. Do you want to hang out with us today? Sonny's not going to be around for much longer, you know. I don't know. Maybe tomorrow? Sorry. No, don't worry. You don't have to force yourself. We can always catch up later. Yeah, you're right. Okay, then. See you later, then, I guess. And that's it. Okay. Well, there was that weird thing going on with Basil when we had to go check on... When we went to go check up on him yesterday... Hopefully he's alright. Okay, so back here. This is where we need to go. I'm pretty sure we gotta stop at Gino's Pizza in the Bakery and Other Mart. Lead the way, Sonny. Sure thing. Oh! Scooters are here. That was, that was like the time we... Yeah, and then... Honestly, I think that... Yes, definitely. What? What are they talking about? As I was saying... Oh, Principal. Um... Okay, then. Yo, I'm Michael, a soon-to-be traveling musician. I've been playing guitar here at the Town Plaza for years, but I think I'm re finally ready to move on. Sure. Let's donate a dollar. Why not? You've donated a dollar to Guitar Guy. Hmm. Looks like I still have quite a bit to go before I can afford to leave town. Thank you. I'll play you an original song.
Okay then. Seems only we have donated to him, but oh well. Let's see, hey Sunny, I just remembered something. You remember when we were kids, me and you used to sneak out of the house to go to hobbies in the middle of the night? We could never get up for school on time the next morning, and Hiro and Mari would always ask why we look so tired. I'm sure they suspected something, but I'm glad they never told our moms. You are pretty adventurous back then, huh? Let's see... Oh! More people are disappearing. I work at the candy store, but I like to come here on breaks. There's always something new to look at, so I'm never bored. Hello. I want this cardboard cutout. Let's see... Now, can I play this game again? Cost a dollar to play? Why not? I think I... Yeah, I already played this before, but still. Let's try this again, just because. Who knows? Hold up, the music. Let me listen. Is this supposed to be like a remix of... Space Boyfriend's battle theme. Cause the do 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 Yeah, that part was playing. Crisis averted. Okay then, well, we're winning so far. Yeah, don't lose. This seems to be the way to win, just spam shooting the button. Okay, we're doing good at least. Ooh, they're firing fast. Okay, let's do this again. We're winning. I'm wasting time, but still. Don't. Don't come any close. Really? And it resets all of them? That's not fair. Okay, let's... <laughs> no! Don't shoot me! Oh, I still have my triple shot, which is nice! Oh, I lost. Okay. Well, that was fun. Okay, Geno's is where we need to go next. Oh, here's the orange guy. Um... Orange is the happiest color. I've not heard that. Has vitamin, vitamin C. Yeah, I'm good. No, that's more expensive than apple juice. I say, while I was eating a banana, I found a cool overgrown lake just behind the park. Oh, is this the lake that was in the library that we're talking about? Oh, they even threw away my banana. I'm sorry. I'm an adult now. A young adult, at least. I'm looking out for, like, trash and seashells. Okay, anyways. Let's go to Geno's. No, oh, of course. There's Aubrey. Geno's pizza is the bomb. This is one disgusting, dirty, greasy-looking, cheesy pizza. Just the way I like it. Let's dig in. You know, at least they're enjoying themselves eating pizza, right? So, we're still on to go to our secret hangout spot today, right? I'm gonna bring my fishing pole. Made it myself. Out of a cool stick and a jump rope yesterday. Do you think it will work, Charlie? Heh. <laughs> so we're going to our secret hangout spot? That's a perfect date spot. Hmm. I'll be sure to bring one of my special ladies. Swimming. Sounds... Pretty fun. Well... While you're all fooling around being babies, I'm gonna be busy skipping rocks. I've been looking for the perfect... Rocks all week. Heh. <laughs> you can try all you want, Kim, but you'll never beat Aubrey's record. Shut up, Michael. Like any girls would actually wanna and go to the lake with you without you paying them. I told you to call me the Maver. I bit my tongue. <laughs> what a loser. Master, are you hurt? <sighs> you, you, you pay for this, Kim. Okay then, well, we can just ignore them, right? See, I really shouldn't get anything though. Last night my wife smelled pepperoni on my breath and got really mad. I mean, you could have shared with her. 
My older daughter is coming home from college. I'm sure she'll have lots of tips out. It's hip and cool these days. Can't wait to catch up with her. Oh my gosh, my crush is sitting right there. What do I do? What do I do? Uh, talking about this guy? Or someone over there? I don't know. Hello, and welcome to Gina's Pizza. What can I get for you? I'm here to pick up an order. I see. What would you like? Oh, I know. Would you like pizza? I think my mom phoned in an order for a hero sandwich this morning. I'm just here to pick it up. Oh, I see. We had a family that keeps ordering sandwiches instead of pizza. There's nothing wrong with that. But it's on the menu, isn't it? Exactly. Hmm, yeah. You're right. I guess so. Okay, I'll go get it. You know, I don't know if I ever told you this, but that's why my brother's nickname is Hero. You think- Oh, so it's a nickname, it's not his real name. You think it's because of some really cool reason like he saved a puppy when he was a kid or something. But no, he just really likes sandwiches. Wonder what his real name would be then. Okay, here's your Hero sandwich. Please enjoy. You got Kel's pizza order. Sandwich order, really? Cool, thanks. Alright, we're good to go now, Sonny. I'm ready when you are. Now we just need to get the cookies from the bakery in the other mart. Do I? Should I? Nah. Let them enjoy themselves. We don't need to cause a big scene. So next up is the bakery. Let's go to the bakery. I don't know where the bakery is. I already forgot. Is it up here? This? Yep. Here's the bakery. Hello. Can I help you? <laughs> the twins. Twin and other twin. What about you? We've been running this bakery for four generations ever since my mom sailed here from across the sea. I hope one day my children will be able to carry on the tradition of managing this bakery. It would mean the world to me and my husband. Well, that would be nice. Welcome to our family bakery. What would you like? Hiya, I'm here to pick up an order. Hmm. Ah, yes. Your mother said you'd be coming. I expect you to be here a bit earlier. I'll go grab your order. wonder what... Is it a cake? You know the bakery belongs to Michael's family. I guess you can't really tell because he wears that horrible yellow wig all the time. Looks like he's making a pretty big effort to stand out and be different. Here's your order, sir. We hope to see you soon. Please enjoy your baked goods. Oh yeah, cookies. I don't know why I thought it was going to be a cake. Cool, thanks. Alright, we're good to go now, Sonny. I'm ready when you are. Okay, well... Nothing else left for us to do except just go back... To wherever baked goods check sandwiches check well that's everything and just in time too looks like the sun is about to set let's go back to my house here should be coming home anytime now cool wonder wonder if he looks any different here I'm, I'm actually really excited to see what hero looks like we are going the right direction right here before we go in, I should probably mention that my mom is going to be a little mad about me taking so long with the groceries. I was supposed to bring everything back around noon, but I got carried away doing other stuff and... Well, you know how... Were you playing basketball? But anyway, I thought of a solution for this. So, I think you should walk in first. That way, she'll see you first and get all excited. And most importantly, she'll forget to yell at me. See, it's a win-win for everyone. Got it? Okay, let's go. I want to play with dog Hector. Oh, that's the name of... <laughs> Am I a good boy? That's the name of Kel's pet rock in the other place. Mom, Sunny's here. What took you so long, Kel? I sent you off hours ago. How long does it take to get a bunch of sandwiches? Oh my, is that Sunny? It must be. It's so good to see you again. But dear, you look so thin. Have you been eating properly? Here's the stuff you asked for, Mom. You gave the bakery order and pizza's order to the Kells, Mom. Hurry, Sonny, let's go upstairs to my bedroom. Now wait just a second, young man. Bye, Mom. See you when dinner is done. So which one? I'm gonna assume it's this one with all the figures near it. There are a few new additions since you were last year. Any space boyfriend figures that I could take? Oh, a space boyfriend poster that I want. 
Well, here it is. Make yourself at home. Look, I got a basketball hoop and a boombox just like I always wanted. Here, I'll play a song for you. Oh, it's this song. Mom will let me play it too loud, though, because she says it's bad for Sally. Who's Sally? You haven't met Sally yet, huh? Uh, guess what, Sonny? I'm a big brother now. Sally is my baby sister. Oh, my mom will probably bring her downstairs around dinner time. She's really small and really cute. Oh, that's cute. There's a girl at the door. She says she's here to see you. Huh? I wonder who that could be. Is it Aubrey? I wonder. Now, is this Hero's room? No. Just the bathroom. The door's locked. That That's probably Hero's room. Probably. Also, I like the song that's playing here. Fishing or golf? Yo, sup? Oh, who's this? Oh, wait, that's, uh, yeah, that's Basil's caretaker. Sorry for intruding. I was just wondering if you know where Basil is. I thought he might be with you. Basil? Hmm. We did see him at the park earlier, but that was a while ago. If you see him, can you tell him to come home? Oh, I have a bad feeling about this. He's probably... He... Hmm, if... I, I might just be, um, speculating here, but he might have accidentally confronted Aubrey, maybe? Of course, Polly. We'll be on the lookout. Thanks. I knew I could count on you guys. Basil's missing today? I have a bad feeling about this, especially with Aubrey and the Scooter Gang around. Maybe we should try to find him before it gets dark. Can we go look for him, Mom? Pretty please? Well... That girl did look awfully worried. <sighs> okay, just make sure to be home by dinner. Okay, time to... Time to look for Basil now. Which, I mean, given how things have been going in the other place, that's nothing new. So, park. This is where Basil was. Man, where could Basil be? I don't see him anywhere. Somebody help! Sonny, did you hear that? I think that was Basil. Oh. Where's his voice coming from? Hold on a sec, I know this area. Basil's voice is coming from our old hangout spot. And the entrance should still be around here somewhere. Oh, just, just press the Z button. Uh, hello? Oh, Help me! Somebody! What the heck are you yelling for, Basil? You're making a scene. This place is our secret hangout spot. You can't be here because you weren't invited. Dang it, Basil. Be quiet. Someone's gonna find this place. Yeah, we're not trying to hurt you. We just want you to get out of here. I'm gonna guess Aubrey told all of these kids about this spot. What are you doing to Basil? What the? Hmm. It's Kel and Sunny again. Why do you always show up? How do you even find this place? Come on, Aubrey. We gotta defend our turf. Aubrey? Go away, Kel. You're not welcome here. This is our spot. Oh, this is your spot now? Well, this used to be our old hangout spot. Wasn't it, Aubrey? Watch it, or we'll mess you up. Fine. If that's how it's gonna be, then at least stop bullying Basil. We weren't even doing anything to him. He just started screaming for no reason. Yeah, sure you weren't. Why should I believe you? We're telling the truth. Stop being such a self-righteous prick. Come on, guys. Let's make sure this is the last time these two mess with us. It sounds good to me. I'm right behind you, the Maverick. Let's settle this, Kel. If you and Sunny are gonna pick a fight with me and my friends, you got one. Come on, gang. Let's teach them a lesson. Okay, so we have a fight against a group of kids, the hooligans. 
guard? Okay, yeah, guarding seems to be the best thing to do. We don't have a knife here, so... Oh, that did not do any damage. Okay, then we're not doing good here. Um... Hmm... Focus... Guard... Because I have no way of healing... I have no way of healing Kel. Oh, don't hit me. I'm just gonna guard. Just gonna continue to do this. Nothing. This is not good. We're not gonna win. I have a feeling this is a fight that we're not meant to win. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna continue going at, on as it is. Yeah, Kel is always like the target of the attacks. Okay, let's just guard. Hmm. That's not good. Guard again. Yeah, we're gonna go down here. Although this is probably the intent for us to lose this fight, but I'm at least making an effort, kind of. Okay. You're knocked out. Sorry about that. Yeah. Is, is this real life? We won, Master. We won. Serves you right, nerds. Damn, I'm hungry. Let's go get some food. Heh. <laughs> Kel, Sonny, get the heck out of here. Well, we really did it. The evil foes have been defeated. Dang. Sorry, Sonny. Why do you think we could take on six people at once? Even if they're a bunch of dweebs. It's over, Kel. Leave this place. You don't belong here anymore. No, I won't. I can't just leave here knowing that this is the person you've become. I mean, what would Mari think? Why do you keep bringing her up? Do I have to keep saying it? Mari is already dead. Can you stop it with that? And while you're at it, drop the tough guy act too. I don't believe you when you say you don't care about us anymore. You have all your new friends now. But you're still hanging out at our old hangout spot. Do I really have to spell it out for you? Don't listen to him, Aubrey. He's just spouting crap like usual. Right, Aubrey? <sighs> this isn't fun anymore. I want to go home. Let's get out of here. You said it. You coming, Aubrey? Oh. Okay. Catch you later, then? Aubrey. Why? Why do you guys keep coming back? I just want you to leave me alone. Sonny, why? Why did you show up now? We just want you to stop messing with Basil. What's your deal with him all of a sudden? You used to be friends. We all used to be. You think I'm the bully, but you're all messed up too. Where were you when Mari died? Where were any of you? And you, you're the worst, Basil. How dare you still show your face to me after what you did. Aubrey, I... Get away from me! Shoot. What the heck, Aubrey? What are you doing? You've taken this way too far. Wait, hold on. I, I didn't mean to. Sonny, don't worry about Aubrey. I'll keep her busy. Just go help Basil. Do 
You want to save Basil? It's Mari. We're not going to catch her. She stops and we stop. Also, I think this is a slower version of Mari's theme. Well, we're closer now. Oh, of course, we have another... Oh, I thought we were having a fight with that. Do we? Something drags you down. Yeah, we do have a fight with this thing. With something. It's not doing anything. It's listening to a struggle. Steady your heartbeat. Don't be afraid. It's not as scary as you think. Focus? No? Calm down? I think you have to keep going. Don't give up. No matter how impossible it seems. Reach out to the voice and remember how to persist. Persist. Heart cannot reach zero for one turn. Water pulls sunny in different directions. We're taking damage. Are we, are we just going to continue to take damage here? Also, if I'm being honest, the fear of drowning is something that I can relate to because although I live in a place that's surrounded by a ton of water, I'm not the best swimmer and drowning has always been something I have been deeply terrified of. So if this is a way for us to overcome that, it would be nice. On. This is almost over. I assume it's going to end once our heart drops to zero. Are we there? This is the last one. Game over? Really? Okay, so what? Something drags you down. Do I just need to keep on persisting? Yeah, I think that's what I need to do. Okay, so I had it wrong. <laughs> My bad. I mean, to be fair, the last fight that we just had wouldn't progress until all of our HP went down to zero, so can you forgive me for thinking that the same had to happen here? Oh, 
Oh wait, no. I need to calm down first and then just continue to persist. Okay, let's... Let's just remember to do that all the time. There we go. Back to persisting. Really, I just need to persist one more time? Or no, not one more time. Oh, okay, so judging by how the screen just keeps on changing, I assume we're just getting closer and closer to the surface because there's less seaweed? Is that the case? I think I was right on that.